Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Technart. Hope you guys doing good. Today I'm going to discuss about SQL Server Page Life Expectancy (PLE). So I'm going to talk about in details what is the PLE and how to do the troubleshoot and what is the drawback and what is the exact default parameters of PLE and how we can calculate the PLE. So we are going to discuss in details in this session. So before starting the session, I would request to each and everyone, please uh, subscribe to my channel and whoever newly join. please please do subscribe and share to others also uh, so that others also can get the benefit please visit the channel playlist sql server dba i think more than 130 videos i have uploaded to all the day to day scenarios and i have covered lot of interview questions as well so let me start the today session actually so we have, will go with the couple of scenarios i have created the one nice documents about to better understanding about the ple the page life expectancy in a sql server so basically the P page life expectancy is an age of a data page in a seconds in the buffer cache or buffer memory after querying the tables with the loading data page into the buffer memory page life life expectancy values indicates the memory pressure in allocated memory to sql server instance okay so basically it's saying the your pl page life expectancy data page how much seconds waiting in your buffer memory okay so by default its uh, uh, setting is a traditional standard ple counter is not less than 300 seconds which means the 5 minutes okay so we'll understand this ple in a better way in this with this help of this diagram i have already covered this diagram in architectural video okay how the query is processing and what is the ple so we can understand the ple in this with the help of this diagram so if you uh, have visited my you know if you watched my sql server architectural video so you have the better overview about this diagram so sql server engine is divided in two parts relation engine and storage engine so whenever we are hitting the query so it's like firstly it's coming the relation engine to uh, from the protocol layers to command parser and the optimizer and the query executor and query executor will send in the query to the storage engine access method in access method you know uh, it's going to check the select or non select query so i have already covered mm, i'm not going to discuss in details how the query is processing in a sql server engine you can uh, watch my architectural video okay but here in a buffer memory uh, couple of things as we already discussed in architectural video also but in in this session i'm going to tell you in a buffer memory we have a data page okay this page this is called data page so here is the classical role of ple so which means how many seconds your you know data is available in your buffer memory okay so the default size is default time period is 300 second which means 5 minutes okay if it is less than 5 minutes then there is a really really memory chunk okay so if you uh, take the examples uh, if any query is come uh, you know uh, coming through this way and you know if the uh, query uh, the data is placed in a data buffer memory data cache if you know the data cache size is not huge because we all aware you know uh, this data is flush out after the some period in term of uh, interval okay so this data is not presently for longer time after the some interval it's going to flush out so there is another process called uh, you know log writer writing the data from the database to database files and they are doing the flush out based on the scenario okay so forget about that so the 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 thing is here how many seconds your data is available in your buffer memory okay this is called the ple page life expectancy that should not be less than 300 second which means the 5 minutes if you take the example uh, you have a you know uh, capacity of 10 people uh, you have a 10 chair something like that uh, so suddenly five more people came so now you have only option is you know uh, you need to uh, you are in a pressure you need to release the older person old old people who have already captured the chairs and you can you know give the chance to for the new new resource or either you need to increase the size from 10 to 15 right if you have a capacity to increase the size 
then it's okay if you don't have the size so which means you are in a pressure now either you need to release the people whoever already captured that chair and you can give the chance to the new newer people and either you can increase the size so same thing here also if data uh, is in your buffer memory the data cache size is not huge not big according to your server memory setting then there will be a process or there will be a pressure in a memory okay if size is you know uh, big then you can you know uh, give the chance to the new process or otherwise you need to flush out the older data from your buffer pool okay so this is the process so that flush out process if, if it is not holding 5 minutes you know something like that your uh, you know transaction is too high and it's like you know buffer memory is not holding uh, any transaction in buffer uh, buffer memory in a database uh 5 minutes as well it's it's like below 5 minutes then there is a memory pressure in your service because of instance so this is the agenda here uh for ple actually so now the point is how to calculate the ple so we'll understand this way see uh, the default size is 300 second that is the default counter which means 5 minutes but based on your sql server instance memory you need to calculate you know what should be the exact counter okay so we can understand with this calculation what will be the perfect ple counter for my instance okay the 300 second is a default instance a default counter from the microsoft what what is the my instance how much server memory in my instance and what should be the ple counter so we can understand with this you know uh, calculation so as per the microsoft standard we follow the rule 300 seconds if ple goes less than 300 seconds then the memory pressure is very high and we have to take care about the performance side as i said microsoft recommended 300 seconds only if less than 300 seconds then there is a problem so this is the default now the point is how to calculate so this formula will give you the exact overview ple threshold equal to buffer memory allocation in gb by 4 multiply by 300 so this is the formula so if we can take an example for this formula so if you can see here for for example the machine is configured with 128 gb and 110 gb is allocated for the sql server so total server memory is 128 gb and 110 gb we are giving for the sql server instance so in this case what should be the exact ple counter so we can place this value in this above formula ple is equal to threshold equal to 110 what we have allocated for sql server mem instance divided by 4 multiplied by 300 so it's coming like 8 to 50 seconds so your ple for this instance is 8 to 50 okay if below 8 to 50 then there is a memory pressure you need to figure out either you need to increase the memory or you need to see uh, why this memory crunch is happening need to do the troubleshoot but the finding the exact calculation for ple this formula is really really helping okay the default is 300 don't believe if more than 300 uh, you can assume my instance is you know okay it's not in under pressure you need to figure out for your instance boss you can place this uh, value uh, you can place this value for the, on this formula to get the exact ple counter now i will show you the query how to uh find the exact ple counter okay for the sql server instance okay how to check so let me connect my new studio if you can see here we can use this uh, sys objects command sys.dmos performance counter this counter will give you the lot of things actually if you execute if you can see here lot of counter is you know you, which can help you to analyze the uh performance tuning actually so one of the counter is ple buffer he, buffer catch hit ratio also you can find it from this command so lot of counter is there counter value is there you can utilize this sys.dmos performance counters which give you the exact you know details about your sql server instance and database okay now uh in this session i am going to discuss about only the ple so what i have did it actually i have placed the you know filter here and i'm going to execute if you can see here now i am getting only for the page life expectancy 
सो माई काउंटर वैल्यू इज फाइव फोर टू वन सो विच इज रियली ओके विथ माई लैब सिक्वल इंस्टेंस ओके सो इन योर केस वॉट आई हैव डिड डिस्कस्ड हेयर इन दिस फॉर्मूला यू नीड टू फिगर आउट वाट इज द सर्वर टोटल मेमोरी एंड वाट यू हैव अलोकेटेड फॉर सीक्वल सर्वर दैन प्लेस दिस वैल्यू इन इन दिस फॉर्मूला एंड वाट द आउटपुट विल कम दैट मच सेकेंड्स इज योर पी एल ई फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंस ओके सो यू कैन यूज दिस स्क्रिप्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई वाट इज द पी एल ई काउंटर फॉर दिस इंस्टेंस ओके आई विल गिव दिस स्क्रिप्ट इन अ डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड होप यू गॉट माई पॉइंट वाट आई ट्राई टू से पी एल ई अबाउट दिस इन डिटेल सेशन वाट इज द पी एल ई एंड वेन इट्स कमिंग ऑन सीक्वल सर्वर मेमोरी प्रेशर वाट शुड बी द एग्जैक्ट थ्री शोल्ड फॉर योर पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंस हाउ टू फिगर आउट वाट इज द करेंट पी एल ई विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्क्रिप्ट एंड वाट शुड बी दैट एक्चुअली यू कैन कैलकुलेट बेस्ड ऑन दैट फॉर्मूला ओके Hope you got the point. What is the PLE? Just a one-line statement. You can say in an interview also. A lot of questions come. What is the PLE? Page life. So PLE is nothing. Just how much second your uh, buffer memory is holding for data page. Okay. If less than th- so, they will ask what is the counter. So counter is three hundred seconds. But you know it's a default counter. But it's not for your SQL Server instance. So for your instance, you need to calculate. Suddenly they will ask how how you can calculate for the you know for your own instance so they will give the scenario also like this only so i have seen in a number of interviews they will put the some scenario server memory is this much sql server you have allocated this much how you can calculate the ple so you can calculate the ple based on this formula actually they are just looking for this whether you have a knowledge or, uh, or not how to calculate the ple for a particular sql instance so this video i think uh, have, i have provided a lot of information it covered a lot of interview questions also and for better understanding uh, you know uh, you can do the testing uh, on your sql instance execute this command to find out the exact ple counter and if it is not then you you can also calculate your server memory based on the server memory and allocated sql server in, uh, instance memory and you can put the you know Uh, then you can you can figure out what should be the ple actually hope you got the points very soon i will meet till then bye bye thank you